Good morning, it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks and Real Southern Woman. Today, we are with Real Southern Woman reviewing 30 Days to Understanding the Bible, Chapter 7, The Conquest Era. This is a um, era when Moses dies and the people are led into the Promised Land. So we will be talking about Joshua, who leads them. The conquest era um, is real important for the Israelites because it's when they established their home in Canaan, okay? Um, the author, Max Anders, starts out as a, telling us that in 1940, Great Britain um, was in war with Germany. And they were pressed hard on every side. And it says a new prime minister came in on the scene, Winston Churchill. And he tells us this because we're going to have a new leader on the scene as well with the Israelites. Um, so it says that Winston Churchill's speeches burst upon the world with sudden and magnificent power. And I'm going to read one a little part of one of his speeches to give you an idea of how he came in and what he planned to do for the people. And it says, I would say to the House, as I said to those who would join this government, I have nothing to offer but blood, toil, tears, and sweat. You ask, what is our policy? I will say it is to wage war by sea, land, and air with all of our might and with the strength that God can give us. That is our policy. So that's what Winston Churchill said, and he wound up being a great leader. And it says that after the exodus, the circumstances were perilous for the Israelites. Um, they had wandered in the wilderness for 40 years, and now they were at Jericho, and the test was the same, okay? So they're about to try to conquer the land of Canaan. And like uh, Britain, they had a new leader, okay? So it was kind of an iffy time to see if they were going to follow this leader or not, okay? But God takes care of that real fast because it says the task of rallying the lead to lead the people fell to Joshua. And Moses, the great leader of the last 40 years, was dead, so, Joshua leads the conquest of the promised land. Um, it says the conquest, there are four main events, so we need to write these down. This is the conquest era, and the four main events are number one, Jordan. J-O-R-D-A-N. Number two, Jericho. J-E-R-I-C-O. Number three, conquest. C-O-N-Q-U-E-S-T. And number four, Dominion. D-O-M-I-N-I-O-N. So we're going to explain a little bit about the, all of these events in, in this major time in history. And we start with Jordan. Jordan is a, is a uh, river. I was making sure I was right. Because you have the Dead Sea and then you have... No, is that the... Jordan, because the Nile's under Egypt, right? Right? The Nile runs, runs through Egypt. Yeah, okay. I'm just making sure I got my geography right, because geography was in Chapter 2, and here we are in Chapter 7. And it doesn't take me long to forget things unless I go back and look, unless they're really planted in my head. But I thought the Jordan was where the uh, Canaan is. So we got the... the um, the Dead Sea's on the bottom. The Jordan comes up through that, but it flows into the Dead Sea. And then you've got at the top, what's at the top? Sea of Galilee. And um, so the people are coming in near Jordan. Uh, okay, it says that Joshua's first challenge is to cross the Jordan River, but the Jordan River is at flood stage. Flood stage. So God commands him uh, to begin walking, and the priests were to go first. 
And it says that as soon as the priest's feet touched the Jordan River, God parted the river for about a period of 20 miles. So um, that was the second big parting of water that God had done, one with Moses and the Red Sea. And I'm sure these people that are crossing the Jordan know the story of Moses, but it's been so long that uh, they may have forgotten, just like I've forgotten since chapter 2. People forget things, even if they're big things. Um, so God shows them that he is with Joshua and them, and he parts this river. So that kind of uh, puts Joshua in a situation where the people know that he's in charge and it's fine because he's with God. Okay, so then you go to Jericho, and that's a city. And the city of Jericho is an eastern gateway into the promised land. It says that it was a fortified city, but they had lots of um, I want to make sure I'm telling you right. No, that was talking about Canaan. It says Joshua's uh, military st strategy um, is such a good one that the the Army War College today still reviews it. He stands overlooking the city, contemplating how to conquer it, and the angel of the Lord appears to him, instructs him to march around the city seven times, and the people are to shout, and the seventh time the walls are supposed to fall down. And that just seems crazy. Of course, parting the sea, parting a sea and parting a river is just out of your mind crazy. And so is this, but God can do anything. And this is just showing the people who God is and how he's in control. Um, so the walls did fall down and they defeated Jericho. The next one is the conquest, which is the defeat of Canaan, which is where I got misled a while ago. It says the regions uh, were owned by individual kings. And so they had their own individual army. So what... Uh, Joshua did is he went right through the middle of Canaan towards the Mediterranean Sea and then he began conquering each area from north to south and then from south to north and it took him seven years but he conquered that area. There's a lot of sevens involved in this if you notice. They marched around the city of Jericho seven times and it took them seven years to conquer Canaan. Um, and then the last one is dominion, and it says finalizing the dominion, uh, each of the 12 tribes of Israel is given land, uh, and it says they're given it by a lottery, and they're responsible for finalizing the dominion over the area. So each of the 12 tribes inhabit the area that they drew, and they form a loose federation with the other tribes, Okay. So um, that's the conquest era in a nutshell. Now, the summary of this era, and you need to write this down. I'm looking. Give me a minute. I'm trying to find out. I want to make sure we get the... Well, it says we're supposed to do it by memory, but I don't remember anything. So I gotta go back and look. Let me go back to my back. For heaven's sakes. Okay, here it is. Joshua leads the conquest of the promised land. It's just really simple. So you have the era is the conquest, the figure is Joshua, the place is Canaan, and then the storyline summary is Joshua leads the conquest of the promised land. So in our blanks, it's Joshua leads the conquest is the first blank of the promised land is the second, promised land is the second blanks.
This one is really simple. It's all about them fighting and taking their land back over from uh, when they had to leave Canaan when they were all hungry and went into Egypt. And they've wandered out in the wilderness, so now they've come back into the land of Canaan. I hope all of this helps us uh, with the geography and where they're going and where they're coming from, from chapter 2, I believe it was. Um, it does help me. I mean, now I can I can kind of visualize where the people are moving from, where they're moving to. Like when it said they crossed the Nile River, I know that that, that Sea of Galilee's at the top, the Nile River's in the middle, and the Dead Sea's at the bottom. And I know that the Mediterranean is out to the left, so I know that he marks those people straight across and then conquered the bottom and the top of Canaan. So um, Jerusalem's in the bottom. So it should help you uh, figure out where these people are going. Now, in our books, if you have a hard copy, he does tell us to draw arrows every time we do a chapter, and it helps us know where the people are going from and to. And so um, I'm hoping that y'all are all learning. Sorry, I'm a little uh, off this morning, but I'm late. And um, what all it amounts to is I had to get up, and, you know, the kids get up about 7. And I had to take my bath and stuff. And I had to wash my hair. Well, I blew it dry, and it was like out to here on both sides. And I started to come on at 8 o'clock anyway, and I thought, they can just wait 10 or 15 minutes on me. I'll put on a little makeup and curl my hair a little bit so that I'm not so crazy looking. Um, but I hope that y'all enjoyed this story. Um, I hope that you can remember our uh, history Let's just review a little bit of the history so far, and we'll fill in our blanks, because at the end of this chapter, we have some blanks, and it talks about the eras and the figures and the locations. I'm going to try to I'm gonna try to see if we can uh, fill them in. The first era, of course, was creation. The figure was Adam. The location was Eden, and it says Adam is created by God, but he sins and destroys God's original plan for man, okay, and most of all of these I'm remembering, I told you that I was going to have a hard time with conquest, I guess because I'm a woman, and conquest is about fighting, and it's just a challenge for me, I don't know why, because I guess the other things seem closer to my heart than people fighting and taking over land, but for a man, that'd probably be his number one thing to remember, uh, the era, the second era was, um, the patriarchs, and the figure was Abraham, and the place was Canaan. Abraham is chosen by God to father a nation to represent God to the world. I don't have my blanks filled in, but I can remember these. Okay, and then the third era is after Mo after Abraham comes Moses, so you know it's Exodus. So it's Exodus, the figure is Moses, the location is Egypt, because the people have moved to Egypt. Through Moses, God delivers. I'm t see, it's taking me a minute to fill in the blank, but I get it. Through Moses, God delivers the Hebrew people from slavery in Egypt, and then gives them the law. That's that one. And then today, let's see if I can, I can remember. It is, the era is the conquest, the figure is Joshua, and the location is Canaan. Joshua leads the Israelites, I guess. I don't know if that's right or not. Of the promised land. I uh, know. Joshua leads the conquest of the promised land. Is that right, Chris? Do you remember? See? I just can't get that one. That's the way I was the last time I did this study, too. Let me go to the back and make sure I got it right. Joshua leads the conquest of the promised land. That's right. <laughs> anyway, I hope y'all are uh, following along. If you don't have a hard copy, I hope that you're trying to write down some notes so that you can get these history points. So the Conquest era has four points, four main events. They are Jordan, 
Jericho, Conquest, and Dementia. I mean, Dominion. I said Dementia. Um, so remember, the Exodus era had four main points as well. And if you missed that, then just watch yesterday's and I'll spell them out for you. These are all quick studies. It only takes 15 minutes. And I've been in on here 15 minutes. I hope y'all have a wonderful and blessed Tuesday. I plan to go see Mama today and uh, do her nails and do some things and spend some time with her. So um, I hope y'all have a blessed day too. Let's say our prayers and thanks so much for tuning in and learning about the Bible. Okay, dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for giving us your word. We thank you for this book by Max Anders and we um, asked you that you would help us be prepared even myself, for these studies every day so that we can learn together. Help us remember what you show us, and it's much easier when we apply it. So help us take notes and do our studies in our books. Help us as we go throughout the day and our families. Be with those who are sick. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Y'all have a wonderful, blessed day. Bye. Love ya. Hey, Bonnie. Hey, Christy. Let me see who is here. Bonnie, Christy, Do Donna, Rhonda, Mary, Linda. And there's a lot of people that come in later. Thanks, all you girls, for watching the Bible study. Some of them are late bloomers.